Hey, it's Michael Larner with Larner Vineyard Winery out here on the estate giving the status update uh, of the farming so far. Uh, we've had a really nice winter. Uh, we essentially have had up to, starting in, in January of this year, we've only had about an inch and a half, but prior to that in December and, and November, um, close to about five, six inches. So we're, we're looking at about eight inches so far of rain. As you can see, it's materializing the beautiful green cover crops uh, in the vineyard. Um, and since we have the uh, cover crop growth, we also have to make sure that we don't have too many weeds growing underneath the berm. So you can see behind me, we've actually gone through and done our organic, uh, basically mechanized weeding pass to remove all the weeds that would be in competition to the vines. Um, the exciting news is we're gonna complement this with um, some sheep grazing uh, in, a, in about two weeks following the next rain set. Um, so we can come in here and sort of organically mow down everything so we'll be sure to send up some little pictures and videos of the sheep out here having fun on the estate. Um, and this year, we're pretty excited about the fact that we, similar to last year, we have this uh, residual moisture. So it looks like we're gonna see what we've seen. Uh, and we're, right now we're looking at canes, but this was a very large canopy, which held a lot of fruit. So we're really excited about that. But if things continue in that direction, we'll see the same thing uh, accumulate again this year. So we're looking forward to another great vintage similar to last year. Uh, and then basically, um, being certified organic, um, we've done the me me mechanized pass on the weeding, um, and we're getting ready to prune here pretty soon. So the pruning will essentially be removing a lot of this wood, uh, putting it down on, in the berm, uh, the, the vine rows, so we can mow that and incorporate it back into the soil to basically make our organic mulch. Um, but the pruning will entail basically removing a lot of these canes and, refine, and basically fine tuning positions to make sure that everything's spread out about a hand's width apart is what we typically like. So a lot of these will be pruned back to two buds uh, and basically sometimes retrained. Um, sometimes we have vines that are weak, so we have to retrain them from start. So you can see one up here that essentially will retie those cordons down. So they've gone from the trunk to new cordons. So regenerative, basically trunk uh, cordon rebuilding. Um, but so the idea is we're gonna come through here and prune all this. We usually do that mid to late February to avoid a lot of the frost and a lot of the rain that comes through because then we'll see more mildew more issues on pruning wounds, which would cause more eutypa, these kind of things. So we want to try to avoid a lot of that. Um, but so far, everything looking pretty great. And so the, the good news is that that transits and translates into better wine for us going in the growing season. And so we're really excited to um, sort of announce that we have some new wines coming out uh, in this shipment. Um, it's going to be 2020 Morvedra, 2020 Syrah, um, and our 2022 Viognier. Um, both, all these wines are uh, excellent. Um, and also, don't forget, you can add on to your orders. Uh, you have 2014 dedicated coming out, uh, and we still have some boxes of the 2014 Petrology, the Igneous Metamorphic Sedimentary three bottle set. So check those out. Um, always, you know, can contact us at the tasting room with Corey or Christina and get those, uh, get those uh, added on if you want to do that. Uh, but we're super excited about this year and, and everything that's coming forward in the future.